welcome back to Treasure Hound. Today we're going to be doing some more bank strap hunting. These are $5 bills. We got a hundred of them, so $500 worth of $5 bills. I don't know that I've ever done a video of the $5 bills, so I've done 20s and 1s, so this will be a first. Um, yeah, so all we do is we look at the serial numbers. I give them a little flip on the back to see if there's anything unusual back there. And what we're looking for are star notes. <clears throat> or what they call fancy serial numbers. So fancy serial numbers is anything that's like a, a repeating number or 0000001 or 99999, you know, repeaters. Or maybe it's 121212, you know, just anything um, that kind of stands out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, for example, would be a good one. <coughs> 5, 6, 7, 8, I should say. Um, so yeah, we're just looking for those. And star notes, <clears throat> if you're not aware of what a star note is, I will briefly explain it. When they print the note, some, what was that? Oh, Lincoln stood out on the back a lot that time. I thought there was an error for a second. When you uh, print a star notes, or a note rather, sometimes there are errors and they need to replace the note, but they don't want to add a whole new number and they can't just repeat the exact same number because then you have two notes with the same number and that's problematic. So what they'll do is they drop the last letter so that H would be gone and it would be replaced with a star and the star signals that it was a replacement note. That's almost interesting. The last few numbers are 33223, but uh, those first two were threes and twos, that would be ideal. But as is, just not worth holding on to. The bank teller did say that she saw some star notes when she was counting through these. So important to get in good with your bank teller, be friendly. And sometimes they'll even put notes aside for us. They did that for us today. They gave us a couple star notes that they had gone through during the week. So I thought that was really neat of them to do that. This one, um, it's kind of tore up, but it has potential to go on eBay just because the if somebody might have a child right now, so let's see, it's October of 22, and if their child was born in May, May 6th of 2019, they might be looking for this note. Um, maybe they'll want to buy it for $10 or something and then set it aside because they think it's a cool number to give to their kid when they're a little bit older. So we'll put that and the interesting pile over here. Keep hunting. But again, I mean, you can put that on eBay and it might sit for months and months and months or forever and not sell. But maybe we'll throw it up and just see if we happen to find a taker. You never know. I don't know, that one looked unusual to me. I don't know, I think it's because the numbers are a little raised over here. That's second six there. So, this is a pretty common error though to find. Nothing. Two, three, four, five. Oh, and then two, one, six, seven. Potential, but not good enough. This one's interesting. This is a, what they call a trinary. That's because there's three different numbers. You have sixes, twos, and a five. If that five were to be a two or a six, it'd be a binary because only two numbers, two different numbers. So this is a trinary. It's pretty rough shape though. It's pretty tore up um, and it's not really anything terribly exciting. So if you put this on eBay, you might get maybe six bucks for it, but you know, maybe making a dollar off of it isn't worth the time an effort. Ugh. 
A lot of sixes there. Don't like that. She saw a star notes, I haven't seen any yet. <laughs> I wish she wasn't looking at these stars and thinking those were star notes. No. I'm sure we'll find something in this one. This one's Close to a binary again. This is another trinary, five, five, seven, seven, eight, seven, seven, five. So that eight kind of throws it off. And again, it's all chewed up, ripped in the corner. It's kind of the bummer when you get real close to something that has potential and then uh, no dice. But it didn't cost me anything. So the time to go to the bank, which is about a three minute drive, so. Man, that one's crisp, 0135-6605. And then you can see on a normal note, there's a letter there. And on this note, it has been replaced with a star. So we'll put this one aside. We'll come back to it and I'll tell you what to do when you find one. This one has triple fives, that's cool. She was right. I knew she wasn't steering us wrong when she said she saw star notes. She did say a plural, so maybe we're gonna have another one buried in here somewhere. <clears throat> oh man, that's another crispy. Good shape. to binary those nines and sixes were ones or zeros that would be called what's called a true binary so any any note that has just two numbers is a binary any combination of only zeros or only ones or only you know whatever but with two of them um, a true binary is has to be zeros and ones only because um, then it's like computer language you know zeros and ones so um, some people consider those to be the only true binaries and what they look for. So keep an eye out for those two zeros and ones. star note yeah so let's recap on that so here's the one star note we found you can look down here it's series 2013 and that's zero one three five six six zero five so 
You go to mycurrencycollection.com, type in that number, type in the series, the denomination, and it'll tell you how rare or less rare it is. I am going to assume that it's less rare, but I will update this video. I will do a little voiceover soon. I'm talking about it again. This is a potential birthday note of May 6, 2019. So I don't know about that one. We'll see. But we'll put that on second behind the star note here. And that's going to be it for the fives today. So nothing terribly interesting unless this star note happens to be on the more rare side, which I kind of doubt. Um, but we'll see. Until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.